What's your name and where are you from? Will Willis, Lakewood, Colorado. Will, what is this? It's a 1954 Fagile moving van. Fagile, is that American made? American made. Uh, Fagile used to be a big manufacturer of trucks back in the 20s. They sold out and it ended up being Peterbilt. Mr. Peterman bought them. Oh really, okay, interesting. So all of this on the side, this is all original? It's original, yeah. I've had it three years. It was uh, shipped to Billings, Montana from International, which it's an international chassis. And as far as I know, it was there its whole life in that area. What did you have to do to the moving truck when you got it? Well, I've replaced the engine, transmission, front and rear axles, power steering, power brakes. I got all the parts off a 2006 uh, Chevy 6500 truck. So I see the stickers on the headlights. How many awards have you won with this? Two. That's it? Yeah, well, I've only been only had it running about three months. Okay, very nice. So this is one of the first outings out of them. Right. Excellent. And they haven't awarded you yet for this one? No, this is the first day. <laughs> only a matter of time. So what is this in the back of it? It's a 1953 Studebaker uh, Bonneville Salt Flats car. XO gas coupe. It's got a 302 GMC in it, fuel injected. Well, I it took me 11 years to get it, and the car, the truck, and then uh, it's been three years building it. Okay. So, Why did it take you so long to get it? They were going to fix it up someday. Everybody's heard that story. Exactly. So it was in a field, and you pulled it out of the field. Right. Yeah. Excellent. In fact, that's how I found the truck. I went up to Montana to put it in a car show where my son lived, my street rod, and then I drove it around to get some miles on it, and I just happened to catch this out of the corner of my eye. <laughs> <laughs> and so you've been trying to work on it for 11 years to get it? For, well, four year, 14 years ago was when I... When you first saw it. When I first saw it.